It's your boy Kaden and I'm going to be showing you guys how you can get all of the belts in the game. So guys all you want to go ahead and do is you just want to go ahead onto online tab and you just want to go and load up swap character. Once you load into this swap character menu guys you just want to make sure that your male is in your left uh, slot and your female is in your right. Let's go ahead and create a female character, put in a name and take a photo, all of that. Once you have done this just accept it all and you should load in and you will be given the diamond casino and resort uh, trailer all you want to do is watch that and then once you've watched that guys you should load into the game as your female character once you load in that as your female character okay guys all you want to go ahead and do is go onto your map and check if you do have the clothing stores if you do just go ahead and make your way over to one if you don't just go ahead and find your session till they appear and then you want to make your way over to the accessories tab and go down to the earrings once you go to earrings you want to pick the ones that I do here in the video these are essential so make sure that you are picking them it's the BMW deco earrings and then all you want to do is go down to gloves and pick the light woodland tactical gloves and then once you've done that guys you can make your way over to the pants or the trousers section and then just go down to sports pants when you're in here and pick the spotted muscle pants and then go ahead over to the shoes section when you get over there you want to enter the sneaker tab and once you enter the sneaker tab, you just want to pick the first ones, which are the pink plain high tops. And then make your way over to the tops section. When you get to the top section, you want to go down to work jackets. And you want to pick the peach camo open or something like that. It's uh, one of those guys. I can't really remember. But all you want to do is you want to pick that one that I do here. So you just want to scroll down in work jackets all the way down to the peach camo closed field. That's the word of it. And then just go down to gun running t-shirts and pick the final one on the list. So you just want to pick the one at the very bottom, the blue digital t-shirt, and equip that. Then go ahead and save that in your first slot as gun belt. Make sure it is saved in your first slot. And once you've saved this, guys, you can make the other ones. Now I'm just going to let you guys copy this. I'm not going to speak over this. I'm just going to let you guys copy it. So go ahead and copy these two other outfits. And, uh, make, and then I'll be back when we need to do the next step. Okay guys, once you've got those outfits, just go ahead and make sure that you change your outfit to make a save. And in the bottom right corner, you should get a little orange circle. If you don't get that, just leave it a couple of seconds and then redo the outfit thing. And once you get that, then once you've got that, guys, go ahead and hit Options, Online, and go down to Creator. And then it should load you in to Creator. Once you load in today, you just want to click on Create a Race. So once it loads you in, just go down to Create a Race, click on that. And then click tutorial in the creator race tab once you've done this it will load you back again and when you have the option to click your pause button go ahead and click your pause button scroll over to online and scroll all the way down to choose character once you've done that and you load in 
go over to your female character and make sure that you are 100% on your female character and delete it. Do not delete your male character because that is just going to be a pain for you. So make sure that you're 100% deleting your female character. Once you've deleted her, you should be loading back again. Uh, and once you load in, you just want to click circle to go back into story mode. So go ahead and click the button that it is to go back to story mode. And then once you've clicked that button and you load into story mode, all you want to do is you want to click options and you want to scroll over to online, play GTA 5 online and click go. And then you should load in to GTA 5 online. Now you should load in as the outfit that you originally had on, the one that you wanted to keep. Go ahead and save that outfit in one of these slots guys. And then just make sure that your three outfits that you made earlier are at the top of the list. And they are in that correct order. Once you've done this you can go and make an outfit that you want to have to put one of those belts on. So all I did is I just made a full black outfit just for the purpose of this video. And then once you've made your outfit as I do here guys, all you want to do is load up Crooked Cop. But guys, this is coming to the end of the glitch, so make sure to please consider subscribing and drop a like on today's video. Uh, sorry this is a bit last minute this video as well. Um, so if it isn't explained 110% properly, just let me know in the comment section down below and I'll be answering any questions that you have. Okay guys, so all you want to do is make an outfit of your choice. Also, if you put on vests in the t-shirt section, they will just disappear. So make sure not to add those. Then go over to online, jobs, play job. Rockstar created and go to verses and all we want to do is just want to select crooked cop and then when you're loading guys you want to put the uh, settings as I do you can leave all of them blank except from the clothing items which you want to put on player owned if it's not on player owned this glitch will not work then just get a random or one of your friends to join your session it does not matter how many people join just as long as you get somebody to join your session and then all you want to do guys is just load up the job once you've loaded up the job guys and you load down, I'll explain further, but let's wait until we get there. Okay guys, so make sure to please consider subscribing and drop a like in today's video as well. And also comment any issues you have in the comment section down below because it really helps me and lets me interact with my community. Anyway guys, we're going to be loading into the job now. So all we want to do is when we get here, you just want to scroll across through the belts into the one you want. I chose the holster one because the other one was a bit glitchy through the t-shirt. So just go ahead and choose the belt that you wish to have on the current outfit you've made. And then go ahead and ready up and wait for your uh, team also to ready up. Okay guys, also when you do load in you will need uh, an earpiece or just some type of gear. So make sure that you have one of those. And then as you see we're loading here, so when you load down into the mission guys, it should show your, you as your character, and your character should be wearing the gun belt, if it's not, the glitch has not worked. So make sure that you are wearing the gun belt when you are in the mission before you do leave. So as you see my character here, he is wearing the gun belt on his right hip, and that knows I've worked. So now all I want to do is click interaction menu, style accessories, and click left on gear to get an earpiece on. And then go and exit the mission through your phone. Once you've exited this through your phone, you should load in wearing the exact same outfit. And now guys, you can edit anything except from the t-shirt. You can also put on body armor through the interaction menu. Then once you've equipped all the stuff that you want, you can go and save this outfit. So that is the end of the glitch. Let me know in the comment section down below if this helped you out. And also please comment your issues because I need to know your issues so that way I can help you do the glitch better. Anyway guys... Uh, if you do wish, once you've saved this outfit, you can make another outfit and you can do the Crooked Cop again. And you'll still keep all of your outfits and you can put a different belt on a different outfit. Until you delete those outfits, guys, on your male character, you can keep on doing Crooked Cop and you'll keep all of your outfits. So all you want to do, if you want to have all three of them, you can just make a new outfit once you've saved the current one. And go back into Crooked Cop and just do that whole thing again. But that, that guys, is that is literally how you do the glitch. Please, any issues, comment them in the comment section down below, because I really need to know these. And, yeah, let me know if it, how it was explained. Okay, guys, because I've rushed this a bit. So, if it wasn't explained to the best, please let me know in the comment section down below how I can improve explaining these. Uh, let me know if you like the way it was edited as well, guys. And tell me if you obviously don't, let me know why. If you did enjoy today's video, please make sure to drop a like. And if you did not enjoy today's video, please don't be afraid to hit the dislike button. And please let me know in the comment section down below why you hit the dislike button because it helps me improve as a community. Anyway guys, that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you did enjoy. 
Uh, also, make sure to share this around with friends if it did help you out. Uh, once again, I'm not the founder of this. I just am doing updated ones from ones months ago because some people think, oh, they don't work because they're old. These glitches do, in fact, still work, guys. Uh, so I'll let you and the guys know in the comment section down below if this glitch ever gets patched So make sure if you do want to do this to check in the comment section down below to see if it's patched But right now it is currently working guys after patch 1.50 uh, So yeah, go ahead and drop a like please consider subscribing if you are new Let me know what you thought of the video in the comment section down below and I hope that everyone else has a great rest of their day and uh, This is Cadence signing out